Hello friends, my name is Dr. Arijit Banerjee and welcome to the channel Health for All. Today I will talk about a very important topic which is very common and many people don't know at all about this element. They have lack of knowledge about it. So today's topic is about fatty liver, its risk factors, types, symptoms, investigations and treatment. So stay tuned with me to know more and subscribe the channel if you haven't already. The liver is the largest internal organ takes care of around 500 essential functions of our body. It filters 1.4 liters of blood in one minute. The liver usually contains some fat but when 5 to 15 percent of the liver weight is constituted by fat or fat cells then it is called fatty liver. Fatty liver disease is of two types. First is alcoholic fatty liver disease and the second is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In alcoholic fatty liver disease, fatty liver develops due to alcohol intake. And in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, we also called it NAFLD, the fatty liver develops without alcohol intake due to some other reasons. So, there are many causes of NAFLD or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and the most important among them is obesity especially in case of Indians where BMI is greater than 22.9 and among Caucasians that is Americans and Europeans a BMI greater than 25 is associated with high risk of fatty liver disease also uncontrolled diabetes is found to be associated with fatty liver disease there are also many other causes age more than 50 years high blood pressure high cholesterol levels liver infections like hepatitis B and hepatitis C in females PCOD and pregnancy again due to side effects of some medications are also found associated with fatty liver disease by the researchers like long course of steroids certain medicine used in the treatment of epilepsy scissors or some other anti-cancer drugs fatty liver disease have total four stages stage one is simple steatosis simple fatty liver in which there is only fat deposition in the liver and no further damage is found stage 2 is steatohepatitis where along with the fat there is a development of inflammation and the damage starts in the liver in 20 percent of all cases of fatty liver disease steatohepatitis has been diagnosed stage 3 is the stage of fibrosis in this stage normal liver cells start getting replaced by scar tissues this is an advanced stage and there is a good amount of damage to the liver is generally found then comes stage 4 which is called cirrhosis in cirrhosis liver cells are replaced by bands of scar tissues in this stage the liver contracts and gets hurt due to cirrhosis the patient can develop complications like liver failure and liver cancer in many patients no symptoms developed in early conditions they don't feel any symptoms and by any chance the fatty liver disease is diagnosed so in the majority of the patients no symptoms are generally found but in some patients pain or heaviness is felt in the right upper quadrant and in advanced cases where the patient has developed complications patient may develop yelling of eyes itching starts all over the body collection of acidic fluid in the abdomen and there might be swelling of the feet these symptoms are present in advanced stages of fatty liver disease but if you feel any heaviness in your liver region for a prolonged period of time you should consult with your doctor as early as possible to diagnose fatty liver the commonly used investigation is ultrasonography but after the patient is diagnosed with fatty liver the doctor will advise some blood investigations like liver function test includes SGPT levels, SGOT levels, bilirubin, etc. Along with this, some other blood tests like HBSAG for assessing hepatitis B, HCV antibody test for assessing hepatitis C, thyroid profile, lipid profile, and blood sugar can be given. Besides, there is also an important imaging called 
fibro scan is essential which is advised to the patient as the grade of fatty liver disease can be assessed only by fibro scan in very few cases rarely ct scan and liver biopsy is done to assess any further more damage or complication but it happens only 1% of all cases along with the symptomatic and case specific medications first i will talk about the weight management in patients with simple fatty liver a weight loss more than 5% of body weight can cure fatty liver but if inflammation or necro inflammation has started to develop then patient need to lose more than 10% of body weight but it should not be rapidly because rapid weight loss also leads to development of fatty liver disease again it is also important for the patient to bring changes in their lifestyle and the patient should restrict their carbohydrate intake and they should make a habit of exercising regularly 25 to 30 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity will be beneficial which includes walking cycling dancing swimming etc so you can do this activity few food supplements like vitamin e and omega 3 fatty acids was found effective various global research studies have shown taking 800 international unit of vitamin e daily for 3 to 6 months have the capacity to cure fatty liver disease so you can start taking vitamin e after consulting with your doctor the next is omega 3 fatty acids omega 3 acids are useful in patients with raised triglyceride levels in such patient good effect of omega 3 fatty acids has been found in curing fatty liver but the role of the drug still under research but you, you can always take lots of fruits and vegetables high fiber whole grains a low fat reduced calorie diet but you have to strictly avoid alcohol in any form added sugar fried foods excessive salts and red meat so the summary of the whole video is that the fatty liver disease should not be taken lightly because its complications are very severe like liver cancer and liver failure but we have to also remember if diagnosed early and timely the disease is curable and can be treated that's all for today if you find this video helpful like the video subscribe the channel and share this information with your friends and family to create awareness take care